Jeff Keenan here. I just installed and commissioned this Tesla version three wall charger. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. Uh, it's on a 60 amp circuit with number six wire. The first thing I have to do is upgrade my panel. This house had a 100 amp service. All the breaker slots were full. So I had to upgrade to a 200 amp panel. Wasn't a cheap proposition, about $2,000. Trisha installed the 200 amp breaker with a generator interlink and then two 60 amp breakers, one for the charge point and one for the Tesla charger. You can see the wiring comes in from the basement, which is about 50 feet from the panel into the garage, into this little junction box. Now, I installed two sets of wire. So we had to run the conduit with both wires up to the ceiling and across to both charger locations with a number six THHN with two hots, a neutral and a ground. Now, neither one of these chargers requires the neutral wire, but maybe a future charger would. And this ended up costing about $3,000 to run the, the wires in the conduit. I don't want to do this job again. Now, when you first turn on the Tesla wall connector, you'll have to connect to the SSID and configure it. So when you first turn on the circuit breaker to the wall connector after it's attached, you'll see the green light start flashing. It'll throw up an SSID that you have to connect to in order to commission the wall connector. The other thing you can do is hold down the button on the handle for five seconds, and then the light will start flashing, and it'll also throw up the SSID. You'll see the SSID on your phone or laptop, whatever you're going to use, and the password is on a sticker that's in the instruction booklet that came with the wall connector. Don't lose that because there's no way to get it other than maybe contacting Tesla. I made a copy of it and put it underneath the connector. So first you're gonna have to open your browser and go to 192.168.92.1. Then you'll get this screen. From here you can connect to Wi-Fi, then check for software updates. Um, and then you can also do some troubleshooting in here and make some other settings. There you go, there's how you set up and commission a Tesla version three wall connector. Now, if you plug in your car and it stops charging, you may wanna try changing your Tesla password because you may have like an app running that's uh, trying to um, stop the car from charging. My utility uh, actually regulates peak charging and I enrolled in uh, their program and it would stop the charging right away. So if you're having any type of problems where it ends charging with a blue light, no error codes, then try changing your Tesla password and see if it's one of the apps running on the car. So again, please remember to like and subscribe for more help with Wi-Fi and tech products.